Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Commonwealth of United Stars. In the last episode, we built up our new forces, designed new ships, and went over our plans for defending, as well as setting up our first destroyer convoy escort picket in the system of Upper Silesia, or Lower Silesia. If you're enjoying the content, please like, comment, subscribe, really does help me out, because you're becoming a YouTube member. The more comments in the description, the better for the game, the more engagement, the better for the game as well, and the more stuff that I can bring you guys. So what are we going to do in today's episode? Well, we're going to continue onwards and get into our colonization of other systems here, um, as well as hopefully start building up some of those newer vessels and start distributing shipping as needed. Part One part of that is I've noticed this area here is pretty open. We don't have um, any, any you know, uh, vessels, any defense vessels that are in orbit of here, and this frigate squadron, which is currently in orbit of Manticore, it's a big distance away from that jump point area. And so, I want to be doing something about that. You can see various ships now moving across here. There's a bunch of civilians here as well. Uh, so we've got the uh, the escort carrier Hephaestus currently transiting towards 61 Signy. Uh, Freight Squadron 6 is moving as well. And we kind of lack, you know, vision of that kind of area that could potentially be a problem in the future for our forces. Um, the other thing as well that I want to do do is I want to revisit some surface orbit weapon capabilities because I believe that we are missing out in what could be a very very useful um, uh, capability. So from my understanding we have access to 30 centimeter grades anti-ship STOs. Quite good. However we don't have too too many of them. Uh, if I look over our planetary defense we have 10 of them here uh, but they're not really distributed correctly outwards. So I'm going to order up immediately another eight of those to be built, and I'm going to place those on affected areas or places that will be of importance. Let's go take a look at Upper Silesia, um, which is our current mining uh, stronghold at the moment. And uh, we have a, a light attack squadron as well as the Apollo here, um, which is in orbit of the planet. Um, and that's providing security to Basilisk. And then we have the mineral transport, you know, getting resources, moving them over to Dortmund. And from Dortmund, the extra system mineral transport is going to take that over um, and transit that to Lower Silesia. Now, that's another weakness that we see appear to have, is that Lower Silesia, relative to here, is pretty... There's a large area here where we don't have a defensive capability um, available. And if we have a look at our destroyers, right, so the Starfall... Can take on probably i would say five enemy raider ships on its own um and we need something to be able to to see this kind of this kind of distance so what do we need we need more these distraction stations we need more destroyer escorts uh, and destroyer pickets and we just need to build up our overall navy now in terms of construction we've got a bunch of arrowheads that will be completing up those will be distributed out to new colonies we have three star force coming online and then we should also have as tonnage increases we should have um construction of the first cruisers that we'll be needing and what i want is i want a ratio for every cruiser we have four destroyers okay so one we have one cruiser four destroyers so if we build four cruisers we have 16 destroyers and for every destroyer we have two frigates um that we can distribute accordingly right and i also want to consider the idea of potentially changing um our frigate to our frigate doctrine to be something a little bit more um how do i say a little bit more endurance based a little bit more uh escort based um because right now our destroyers are kind of doing that and i, and I want our destroyers to be more targeted while the while our frigates are more cheap easy manufacturable that we can deploy to areas as needed for defensive purposes um Something else that I'm going to uh, to order immediately is I'm going to order the HMS uh, HMS not strong headed. Uh, I would like to grab the HMS Thunder Drum and potentially order the Thunder Drum to go through the Tau City Jump Point and get some scouting information. Um, I feel like we need some kind of uh, sensor drone, but we don't really have that yet. We're going to wait. Um, now, what's the progress on stabilizing in the EQ Pegasi area? We are four days away, so we will we'll wait four days. There we go. It's done. Now, EQ Pegasi has two 
two, two areas. We have Ikebukashi A and Ikebukashi B. Now, the distances aren't too, too bad. They're about 2.5 billion kilometers, but it's still a significant distance. I would want, ideally speaking, some kind of in um, deep space station here that could have forces. Now, what's the orbital period on the second star? Orbital period, 160 years, okay? So, uh, I, th I think that's 160 years? That will rotate around the inner star every 160 years. We'll do a full rotation, right? So, I'd like probably something here, here-ish, uh, this space station that we can deploy that will be able to defend that area. So, uh, do we have available to us a deep space station? Not yet. Um, I'm going to increase that, actually. Modify that up, and we're going to get that we're going to put in another one into construction as well and then we'll deploy it probably in between these two areas have a picket destroyer here have a destroyer here and then have a colonization here for full defense and that will kind of work for us as needed so let's begin that colonization effort right so we have we'll have benetrix which will be colonizing and then we have this world which needs to be kind of surveyed we have a gas giant in the system we have some a neutronium moon um and so we can begin harvesting quite a few resources here and then continue outwards so let's begin moving some infrastructure over um we currently have available to us uh we have this group we're going to begin loading infrastructure shipping that over to uh eq pegasi take that over to b2 and then bring that back to uh alpha centauri and refuel and then cycle those move orders and um, i also want to make sure that we have renamed b2 accordingly so we're going to rename the population to benetrix only and get that infrastructure moved and uh, i believe we also have this guy but we're going to wait on you we're going to need more freighters i think that's for sure so i'm going to order up another four freighters to be produced one two three four and then I'm also going to order this tug to take, uh, to go to Yukipigasi, to take this jump stabilization station. Then we're going to go, if you look in the galactic map here, we have two different areas we can go into. Either Zeta Sextanus, which is this world, or the Galaxy, a lot of Verendorite, a lot of capability there. There's a lot of resources that, that might be needed. Now, this is a very interesting star because, it, uh, or planet. If we go to Zeta Sextanus, we can actually have a look. And um, that planet is right uh not 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 that close but it's it's w less than a million kilometers away from the star um and the jump point is 1.2 million there's also alpha centauri b or zeta six b4 so if i have a look at dual planet orbits that here so we can probably put a military base there for intercept into the inner system but Zeta Sextanus, that has, again, those those resources. So we have this. We also have two Super Jovians. This one has a, a ton of resources here. So Zeta Sextanus can also be set up for that. Then if we go to the next uh, local system, we go to Theta Corvi. Theta Corvi has this world, which has Saurium, some Uranium, but is largely empty. Um, that we can put a military base there, of course. Then it goes to 54 Pescuum. Now, 54 Pescuum has little in terms of minerals, but does have available to it a decent amount of fuel and uh, colonizational space that we can put the people on. I think this Zeta Sextanus is more vital to us. So we're going to go back over. We're going to move you over to Zeta Sextanus. We're going to release tractor chips. Then we're going to go back to Alpha Centauri. We're going to refuel. We're going to resupply and uh, sort ourselves out. And uh, let's keep doing daily increments. Barbarossa 002 has been built. So we're going to grab ourselves this tug squadron. We're going to go over uh, to the space station. We're going to track to the Barbarossa. Uh, but what I am going to actually do, however, is have, um, if possible, an Arethusa class uh, refueling vessel. So, for example, you. Uh, I'm going to have the Arethusa join up with join up with the tug squadron and the arethusa is going to refuel own fleet we're going to track to the space station because the, the space station is very big so moving it is going to be it's going to be obviously a bit of an issue i'm going to take that over to eq pegasi 
And then once there, I will give you further instructions on where to particularly go. Actually, we'll, we'll sort that out right now. So we want something in between. So distance right now is about 3 billion kilometers. I want something probably, let's do there, waypoint 1. This gives us about 500 million kilometers distance. 3 billion kilometers. Let's do waypoint 2. Your waypoint 2. This gives us a decent amount of, of, uh, of space. You're going to go over there, drop the station there, and then you're going to head back up to upper to our sensory before we supply. I also like to know what our current situation with our current defense stations are. Yeah, so this defense station is going to need more fuel. It's also going to need more maintenance supplies. Um, so I'm going to order um, the this maintenance ship of this main ship to go over to now i'm not sure if i can set this up correctly if i go over to signy right and i go over to fleet and i go over to this i can resupply from own supply ships i think that's the order so we're gonna set this up um i'm, I'm gonna i'm first i'm just gonna see if this works i'm gonna do resupply from own supply ships and see if that works and if it doesn't work well uh i, I that would be quite annoying HMS Reliance is now feeling all this. We've really explored so many systems in this galaxy. I mean, we are now on 41 total systems. Um, I'm going to send uh, the HMS Reliance on the command of Captain uh, Captain Lane Walquist. Um, I'm going to send her over to the system of uh, Pisciuum. Default Pisciuum. To begin continuing its survey efforts there because we are now, you know, colonizing in that direction. And so that is going to be of import. Um, what is our civilian capacity currently setting out? What, how are civilians doing? We have three, six ships, 12 ships. We only have 25 total civilian ships. It's not as many as I, I would have liked. Bunch of arrowheads just finished up. Um, so those are going to be very, very important for obviously defense of colonies. Uh, San Martin has reached 10 million people. We're going to set that to, to stable. Um, and we can now support a lot more mines on the colony, and that we are producing a lot more galasite, which exactly, which is what we need. Um, we should also be moving more infrastructure over to Nueva Belize as well. Mine layers are now back. Uh, JSS Attack 1 is done. We just built a new Lysander class vessel, so we're going to order the uh, Jump Stabilization Station. And I think I want to move away from Jump Stabilization Stations. They're just a lot of work. Um, begin stabilizing the Jump Point into Z6. That's for me, please. Um, and we're also are going to move over a, uh, let me go over to the Hephaestus, right? Uh, you are moving to that location with the ODP. Um, the Artemis is over here. You're orbiting Dortmund. Dortmund's largely safe now. I'm going to order you to go back to Alpha Centauri, refuel, resupply. And then you're going to head over to Ekipagassi. And you're going to head over to Benedict's Colony. And you're going to activate it as its defensive uh, capability. Uh, because Dortmund now has enough capacity where we can we can send over some frigates, we can send over some destroyers, and, and this should largely be fine. Speaking of, we should have some frigates, I would hopefully think, available. Um, let's order up some frigates, because we need to replace those. So I'm going to order up three more frigates to be built. The Agamon, the Enchanter, and the Barbarossa. I think some of those have been destroyed in recent times, which is a bit unfortunate. And uh, again, we're going to just keep incrementing along here. Okay, Hephaestus completed orders. And Hephaestus was carrying the Axolotl. Uh, the Axolotl, again, is our orbital defense platforms. We're going to put that into Commonwealth Coast Guard. We're going to put that into Space Antillier defense grids. Um, ODB1, Beta Antillier defense grid. Uh, we're going to detach you. We name you to Beta uh, Beta Antillier Defense Grid A2. Now active's on. Let me go check out Beta Antillier to make sure it's in the right location. So the ODP, bring us in right here. Make all these useless mines. So Defense Grid there. Yeah, we're a bit far away from the actual area, right? So we're going to need to get with 100, let's do 90,000 clones. So I would like you here. Waypoint 16. Uh, and we're going to move, we're, we're going to load up you into that. And then we're going to take you over to waypoint 16. 
Done. Then we're going to detach. Beta until a fence grid D1. I'm going to put that into the Atelier Defense Forces. And this now has our axolotl um, with its action sensors and its capabilities, and it will shoot at anything that does attempt to go. Then we're going to put an opposite one over here, put another one there, put another one there, and then we have four of these orbital defense platforms that we'll be able to shoot in. And in any way the swarm moves, tries to move outwards, we will be able to, to hit it, destroy them, and uh, deal with that enemy threat. Now, are we building more of them? Yes, we are. We're going to have... Axolotl Zozo 2, Dimension 21, 18, which is quite a bit away. Uh, I'm going to order the Hephaestus back to Alpha Centauri, refuel, resupply, and uh, we'll, we'll re-outfit you as needed. But there we go, as you can see here. Based on the Lego Defense Grid B1. So you can't see the idea that we're going for. We're going to have these mines, and then we're going to have the small orbital defense monitors, the still on some point, take hits. And then we're just going to shoot in with our um, turreted lasers from distance and start really hurting the enemy forces as they as they come through. We're going to need a lot of capability if we're going to make that work, however. Um, so it's going to take it's going to take some time, that's for sure. It's going to take some time. Uh, Beta Atelier, Anubis has been assigned. Uh, repair some carried out. Yep, just want to make sure that all our reliabilities are going okay. Um, I do see our funds slightly dropping here, which is a bit concerning, I will admit. Um, junior Command, Third Frigate Flotilla. We need to sort the Third Frigate Flotilla out. We assign accordingly. Yeah, San Martin's growing, then the River Belize will be growing, and then we'll also be moving over infrastructure over to Benetrex. I do want to also set up uh, this correctly. Also, automated assignment for you. Trained on the Manticorean Academy, that guy. He's from Manticore. Um, looking good so far. Okay, how long until... Um, I want to say my like, mirror fusion reactor is done. That'll be done 2117. Then we'll have the new mines done in the 50th of March. And then we'll also have the extra mining production done here shortly as well. Uh, the Hotspur. We're going to order the Hotspur under the command of Johnny Hauler. Over to 54 Piscuum and go to JP2. We really need to get better engines so that we can design the next generation of ships. Again, it's only been 16 years. The fact that this campaign's only been 16 years and the amount of action, the amount of systems that we have uh, we have encountered, right? It's it's really quite quite amazing. Um if you think about it in, in that perspective. Uh what is running out of you? Avans is 17 on the other fuel. Uh, we feel from red tankers. We feel in fleet. Attach and then join up and then refuel and then yeah. You should just refuel from that fleet, my man. We have your survey done in Piscuum. That is for the vigilance. We're going to send you through this this jump point. This is system of Kingdom of Encorum. Wow, this is a very interesting looking system. We have a... It's across about 2.1 billion kilometers. We have various worlds. We have uh, three terrestrial worlds, a gas giant, another gas giant, a third gas giant, and a fourth gas giant. And this system has some potential, especially in terms of um, a fuel... Uh, it's not too far away from Pescuum, and this could supply, considering that this system has, primarily speaking, it's mainly going to be a population center, um, especially if we, can, if we can start terraforming that, right? Um, supplying that local area, considering we're starting to get so far away, I think, from our Centauri, where we want, like, a, a, a kind of a new sector command in this area, a new naval base, a new kind of uh, ground. This could fuel skew them up so that we don't have to transport fuel from all the way over here which is going to take obviously a lot of time the apollo has arrived at eq bagassi so that is for defensive purposes the artemis has exceeded its deployment time in hs andromeda so because you've exceeded your deployment time uh you should go refuel resupply and uh, yes you're going to go and do that now, if I remember correctly, in HH Andromeda, uh, we need to get a Barbarossa probably moved over there at some point. But what I will do, I will have uh, I'll have a destroyer replace 
uh, that ship for now. I'm going to have the Thunder Drum head over with Actives on to HH Andromeda. Head over to the Harvester group and um, act for defensive purposes. Uh, you'll be able to stay there long enough while the Convoy Escort Carrier resorts itself out. Insufficient laboratories on Griffin. I believe that was finishing up our mining production, which is fantastic. Um, I'm going to increase our construction rate as well. And uh, that should hopefully bring a very, very nice amount of mining production increases across the board. Uh, for places like San Martin, for places like New Belize, for, for Basilisk, which is now mining 1,700 tons of resources. We currently still have 86 auto mines on this world. And we are continuing to ship infrastructure out. Um, the River Bleed should be up next in terms of civilians moving over that infrastructure. But we also do need a lot more freighters um, if we are going to be successful in that regard. Um, the Artemis is done. TV Artemis 2 is done. Orbiting Griffin. Um, what I would also like to do is I'm going to expand our shipyards. Is I want to expand this shipyard to 100,000 tons, and that's going to be where I'm going to put uh, larger freighters when that can when time comes for that. Uh, but the Artemis has arrived. It's fine. But yeah, we're going to put a deep space station there. This is a system of one to one uh, Virginus. Another relatively empty system. When I mean empty, I mean there's no uh, worlds with nitrogen oxygen atmospheres that could potentially have aliens on them. You have ruins though. Uh, now, uh, this tanker is having some issues. No, this tanker is having some issues. It's actually... Tug. Refuel from that tanker. Done. And take that over to Iki Pegasi. The over to Waypoint 2. And release tracted ships. That'll take you 95 days at 500 kilometers per second. We're going to send you back over to Griffin and refuel. What's the progress on building up our Anubis? Oh, we just built our first new Anubis class vessel. And I want to diversify where our fuel's coming from, if possible. Yeah, those are the ASHMFs done. Uh, 75 kiloton Freighter 6 is done. Uh, so I'm going to order Freighter 6 to begin moving infrastructure over to EQ Pegasi and head back to Alpha Centauri and then begin refueling. But we are we are now surveying in hotspur. Production of boys done. Okay, I'm then gonna continue to order up uh I'm going to wait a little bit but I am going to order up another like a thousand of these to be built. As many of those as we can get our hands on, because we're going to need those to rearm basically everything that we have. Uh, four new freighters just completed up. Now, I want to get stuff moved over for that. Why don't we have refueling station moving over properly for that anymore? We have 3.8 available. Um, let's get that done with those new freighters then. So I'm going to uh, detach these new freighters. We're going to rename this to Freighter Squadron 9 and put that as 100 kilotons. Kilotons. And we're going to slam that in to here. We're going to then order uh, the this to begin moving over the refueling station. Now, uh, 2.2, 2.2. So we can move. We should. This should work in two, two goes because it's 250,000 tons. We've already moved 50,000 tons of it. We're going to take that over to uh, Upper Silesia. We're going to take that over to Dortmund. We're then going to head back to the office and toy. We're going to refuel and we're going to repeat that once. It'll take you 260 days to do. And we are wait. How is minerals coming up over here? Minerals, mineral tax, nothing so far. Survey sites. We also don't have any survey sites currently. Um. Thank you. Through the completed orders. We do want to get some more deep space tracking stations moved over, ideally, yeah. Also, by function, you can see automated mining colonies, listening posts, uh, other colonies, Benetrix colonies, Signy, uh, yeah, 
I want I want to be able to see uh, which is colonized and which is not by color code. Much nicer. Carry down. Research into the mine has completed. Fantastic news. Uh, so I'm then going to work on logistics modules. Uh, let's improve our maintenance capacity capability. But with that mine uh, now done, I'm going to cancel this for now. And start producing 200 of these. With the purpose of which will be to mine the uh, swarm jump point area. Uh, which we are going to need to be able to do do uh sign new and then industry we're getting that done once that's done i'm going to i want to i want to have another like 100 of these built at 30 percent yeah i think that's exactly what i want and uh griffin again we've got a bit of a worker shortage at the moment which is kind of causing us some problems of uh, five million people as we, as we begin to expand our shipyards up um, let's pass the upgrade reach. I believe that's for one of our military shipyards. Yes, it is for our military shipyard. So we're going to retool this shipyard. The Highlander class light cruiser. That will take until February of next year. And then we're going to build three of those light cruisers. Um, for construction purposes. And we're going to I'll probably redirect construction to more refueling. Magnetic mirror fission reactor is now done. So what we can then do is begin immediate work on ion drive technology. So that will be done in a few years, but we will have ion drives at least by the 2120s, and then we can start to design ships. With that in mind, uh, Tug Squadron completed orders. Uh, good job for the Tug Squadron. We're going to send you back to Alphantory and refuel. I'm then going to order a destroyer squadron, I think, to be sent over to that area because the range in terms of, uh, we could probably send a frigate squadron over. Um, since there's an inter-system kind of uh, uh, dedicated patrol vessels, then we probably do want to do something like that. But uh, do we have any frigates available? No, but I will, I think I will take the San Martin, not San Martin, the... Griffin Defense Force. Take you over to 61 Signy. Uh, refuel. Then you're going to continue to travel to Pegasi, And then you're going to head over to Barbarossa and then refuel accordingly. Speaking of Barbarossa, did we figure out if that resupplied correctly? No, it did not resupply correctly. At least as far as I understand it did. Uh, if I go over to my support fleet, I go over to Supply Squadron. Um, you're transferring supplies. You are not. I think it was over here. Yeah. Uh, so, is there any way to do this that will work properly? Join and resupply, but I can't have them automatically come out. That is a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. Well, at the very least, I can have uh, the deep space station begin uh, begin resupply. At the very least, uh, so let's have the actual this move to location follow. Okay. You're within range, and then we'll have the Signy go and resupply. And there we go. Okay, one day increments. Let's continue on. 2117. The probe was just added. Uh, not sure who that was for exactly, but we are continuing to build up our shipping industries. Again, population is kind of stagnant, and we still haven't seen any aliens except for the swarm and obviously the raiders yet. Um, which is quite interesting to think about. The squadron completed, frigate squadron one has arrived, so that is the frigate squadron that will be guarding um, that area. So if I go over to EQ Pegasi, we have this frigate squadron which is now in in here and i'm going to have the frigate squadron join up with the deep space track uh, deep space station 
uh, as a subfleet, and uh, they will be able to act for defensive purposes in the area. Um, in between, uh, obviously, it's going to take some time to be able to react, but they're kind of watching the patrol lane. They're watching the the movements of supplies, and uh, we are now getting colonists moved over to Benetrix as we have delivered infrastructure. And then in terms of other colonies, we need to get more automated mines over to here. I mean, so we keep continuing to expand our industries out. That is for sure. I think that is the end of this episode uh, to start with. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Royal Frax C Sharp, Commonwealth Night Stars. You guys have a good one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.